This is, for what it's worth, the world's first Merryworth podcast. Sam and Eric use coarse language, and if you are offended by coarse language, please save yourself some trouble and cover your ears. And so he spoke, and so he spoke, that lord of Castamere. But now the rains weep o'er his hall, with no one there to hear. Yes, now the rains weep o'er his hall, and not a soul to hear. For what it's worth, the Seven Kingdoms' first and only Merryworth podcast. My name is Samuel of the Health Stark, war- Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. And I'm Eric Baratheon, the first of his name, King of the Andals, and the Rhaenar, and the first men. Lord of the Seven Kingdom and Protector of the Realm. Your Grace, we've yes. got a big week ahead of us in Merry Words. Yes, yes, my Lord. <laughs> uh, if it please your Grace, let's skip the formalities we usually have at the beginning of the show and jump right into the meat of the week. Sounds good to me. Wilbur's concerned when he sees Dawn. Life is brutal. Dawn, do you want to go out? Maybe we can go to the beach. Maybe fly a couple kites. That helped you last time. I'm I'm kind of a one-trick pony here. (laughs) That worked when you were were alive. (laughs) You know what what your problem is now? Dad, can't you see I'm busy watching Game of Thrones? Whoa! Yeah. Since when is Karen Moy a fan of the show? This is that this we are is both big on. News. I know when when anything in pop culture is referenced in Game of Thrones, it's always incredibly strange. Yeah, especially in, in Game of Thrones. Should Dawn be watching this at her age? I don't know. Okay, at thirty-two is. <laughs> Is a bit young. <laughs> Somewhere between the ages of 13 and 32, she she shouldn't be seeing all those boobs and violence and... Yeah, ugh. Oh. All that... What a racket. All that nastiness. That's that's more entertainment for the peasants in the streets in Flea Bottom. Yes. I, I can only imagine that George R. R. Martin uh, paid them to, to plug this in here. Why isn't his name there in the panel under Karen and Joe's name? Yeah, I know. Like, I mean, Mary Worth is, like, crazy popular. And he's like, man, I really wish more people knew about this Game of Thrones thing. This little, what, what can I do? <clears throat> this little artsy-fartsy show I'm producing with HBO that nobody's ever heard yeah, of. Who watches that? Yeah, let, let's get this in every newspaper in the country. Hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well... Like thirty percent of the newspapers in the country. He tried to get a reference in Marmaduke, but that that fell through. That did not work at all. They tried to uh, imply that Marmaduke was a direwolf, <laughs> when, when he's very obviously um, what the hell a Great Dane. Yes. Well, I mean, he's he's around the right size. Great Danes right. are pretty big. Great Danes are enormous. But uh, that didn't work out. And... Everything fell through, and uh, so he had to go with Mary Worth rather than Marmaduke. But, you know, hey, Mary Worth is no, uh, nothing to cry about. Now, I never thought that Game of Thrones would get picked up for a, a second season, because the fr- nobody watched the first season. Like, nobody did. Yeah, and apparently they're coming back for a third season? Could have fooled me. Uh, yeah, really, that last season was garbage. Uh, I watched about the first three episodes and then didn't watch any any of the rest of it. It's garbage. Anyway, uh, Tuesday? Yep, Tuesday. Sorry about watching that DVD these past few days. Over and over and over again. It's worth repeat viewing. Disagree. <laughs> uh, I struggled through the first season of Game of Thrones. Maybe three times. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh, and I, I hated it more every single time I watched it. A scant three times. I, I shan't be watching it a fourth. <laughs> uh, is John pregnant? Or did they miscolor that pillow? <laughs> <laughs> She's just got this flabby gut hanging off the edge of the couch. John, you look, you look terrible. You look a little bit bloated, sweetie. I'm sorry. Lay off the brownies. Jesus. <laughs> You're one to talk, Wilbur. <laughs> I have to say, they have made some daring choices in their living room decor. Yes. <laughs> they've, they've got that beautiful butternut squash couch with the yeah. pumpkin pillows and the mint chocolate chip ice cream wallpaper. It's beautiful. Ugh. Are you going to spend your entire summer vacation this way? Watching Game of Thrones on our 17-inch LCD? <laughs> I paid eighty nine dollars for that in the Black Friday sale. And you're waste wasting it watching this garbage? This nerd show? <laughs> Get out of here. Let's turn turn on the big bang theory. Let's switch over to the ace of cakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fa favorite show. I wish I could eat all those all those cakes. I have one cake per episode that I would choose over the other cakes. <laughs> okay. But I'd still choose the other cakes. <laughs> Wednesday? Wednesday. Leave me alone! I need this! Okay, Don. What's that weird little wall <laughs> there behind Wilbur? Yeah, I... That was there a second ago. <laughs> he's, he's just like, Wow, I just need to put up new walls to close off my depressed daughter. God. I can't stand to look at her anymore. <laughs> you know, why you in? Get out it's, of here. It's the cask of Amontillado. <laughs> oh, no. Even better, it's a very short door. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> It's just this... T <laughs> Wilbur was so concerned about Don when he came into the living room, he just pulled the door right off the hinges. <laughs> He's carrying it around with him. <laughs> carrying it around like... like Hodor. <laughs> <laughs> He's got... He's got uh, the strength of a giant. You know. Well, you, you don't really see it because they, uh... They kind of, you know, it's a drawn comic strip, but Wilbur Weston is like eight and a half feet tall. Wow. And and they have to dub in all of his lines, because all he can say is, Wilbur. <laughs> but if you need more than this, you only have to ask for help. Yeah, yeah, beat it, old man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Uh, your grace? Yes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you don't mind if uh, we take a... a quick break, do you? I've, uh, I've grown a thirst. Oh, that's, that's fine, my lord. Cupbearer, I, I need another cup of mulled wine to soothe my throat. Uh, yes, my lord. Fill it to the top, boy. Don't be stingy. Mm. Mm ah. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready to continue, your Ooh. grace, if it please you. What kind of wine is that? Mulled Sounds wine? Stylish. Sounds delicious. Ah, come bear, come back. Yes, my lord. Uh, make sure that his grace, Eric, receives a cup of this, uh, a cask of this delicious wine. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, your grace. Thank you, my lord. Get out of here, kid. <laughs> Get out of here, you dumb kid. That was, that was my cup bearer, um, Podrick Payne. <laughs> That's what he does in the show, isn't it? Yep. I mean, I wouldn't know, because I've never watched it, because it's such a boring nerd show. It's, it's so so brutal. It's so brutal. So. Are we ready for, uh, for Thursday? Thursday. After several days. Life is brutal. How long will this go on? 
Wilbur's just pissed at this point. Fucking hell. Look at this guy, right? A goddamn horse. This is crap. <laughs> Wilbur, uh, Wilbur, uh, w- Wilbur takes out a sword and cuts the head off of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> the dead will dance tonight. <laughs> you know, um, I asked the same question Wilbur was asking during most of the Daenerys chapters in the books. Yeah. How long will this go on? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Walking across the desert. Is this, know, is this chick just going to wander around in the out. desert and everybody starved to death and that's just the end of it all? God! You've gone through breakups before. A lot of them. What if you don't snap out of this one? You'll end up like me. Yes, there's only hundreds and hundreds more. Get used to it. Your life will become a hopeless pit of despair like mine. I'll have to spend my days looking after my stupid daughter who watches these geeky shows and takes up the TV in the living room. I bought her her own TV for a bedroom so she wouldn't bother me with this shit, but she just stays in the living room. Doctor Who gives a shit more like <laughs> Christ on me. <laughs> oh I my hate god. This crap. What's with all these damn British people shows? Ugh, I can't understand a word they're saying. <laughs> it's like it's a different language. <laughs> pip, pip, cheerio, my butt. Also, is Don watching this? I'm like a... I'm like a Wii or... What's going on? Why is that tiny box there? It's like a, it's like a PlayStation 2. Remember how they were all small and flat? Yes. <laughs> it's the only DVD player they have in the Weston house is a PlayStation 2 that Wilbur got at a garage sale for $25. <laughs> and it's not plugged into anything. <laughs> it's just sitting there. Like, there, there are no cables coming out of that TV or anything. Eric, I'm fairly certain that my computer monitor is bigger than that TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That looks about 13 inches. Yeah. <laughs> So Don's just pushed the couch right up next to it, as you can see there. <laughs> I, I imagine like w- Wilbur bringing it home and like like uh like um g- getting a entertainment center. It's like all so, all excited. He has this nice cabinet. And he just puts down this little like twelve inch LCD. <laughs> Is it a I see a mute? Look at this. HD. HD quality. You, you, you can't buy quality like that. Look at this. It's beautiful. I got a nice shell of Costco. It's really nice. <laughs> Poor Wilbur. He just uh, keeps trying and just nobody gives a shit. I to mention his four computers he doesn't know how to work. <laughs> Don! Don! <laughs> how do I get it? To the emails. How do I check my email? <laughs> you just click where it says email, Dad, for God's sake. Dog, I got all these pop-ups again. I was trying to download all my music. <laughs> Wilbur's main problem with the computer is he's not fast enough to double-click. <laughs> 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 Do I click or double click to open one of these things? One, two, double click. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Friday. Friday. Wilbur worries about Dawn when she has trouble getting over a broken heart. Life is brutal. Time to make a phone call. That's the third time she said that this week. <laughs> what the fuck? Why does she keep repeating herself? Is she hypnotized? Is this one of those satanic shows? Like the one with the animals from Japan? God damn it. (laughs) The animals from Japan. Yep. Is this that My Little Pony thing everybody's talking about? (laughs) I just don't get it. Oh, well. I wouldn't wouldn't know. Jason's. Wah. Ah. 
<laughs> Can you read that again? Because I was talking over it. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> A long distance run. <laughs> good lord, Eric. <laughs> I mean, He's good lord, drinking. your grace. Yes, hey. Yes. I've, for I've forgotten myself, your grace. My apologies. No, your place, good sir. I, it, it shan't happen again, my liege. So, uh, right. Saturday? Saturday. Saturday, 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 Saturday. My good friend, Giorgio, where are you? I can't find you. I've done you countless favors. For what? Yeah. What machinations is Wilbur setting into motion I, here? I don't no, I'm a bit nervous. Did he used to be in the mob? I don't... Giorgio. I'm crawling. You're not favored, Giorgio. Don't you recognize this voice? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want me to tell anyone what you did to that girl in 1979, do you? <laughs> <laughs> that was our little secret, Giorgio, and they never found her. <laughs> uh, also, I like, I like to imagine that when he's saying, Giorgio, where are you? Like, he's actually looking around his room to find him. It's like a tiny, a tiny little man. <laughs> <laughs> he slides out his keyboard tray and looks under the mouse pad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find you, Giorgio. <laughs> I gotta find my friend Giorgio. He's a borrower. <laughs> Are you behind my bookcases? I, hello? <laughs> the borrowers. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to ask for one in Rick. I don't like where this is going at all, Wilbur. I like how daintily he's holding that phone. <laughs> like it's made of glass. It beep, 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 beep. Hey, cool. I wish I didn't make this phone out of clay paper. Oh. It's very delicate. <laughs> he's just gently rubbing it on his cheek. He uh. touches it to the tip of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> That Wilbur Weston is a is very gentle with his electronics. He's a very tacky person. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Yep. Sunday, 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 inside the Weston apartment at Charterstone. There are times when a person has to help someone who can't help themselves. Look at all those books Wilbur has. Yeah, I know. It just seems like... I wonder if that's just, like, Joe's go-to thing to stick in the background of some place. Just hundreds upon hundreds of gray, leather-backed tomes of information. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's why he's mad at Don for watching Game of Thrones. He owns, like, the whole series, that, <laughs> the novels. But she won't read not, them. They're not really... Don't like that they're deviating from the novels. What's this about Daenerys losing her dragons? That never happened in the book, Dawn. There's a bullshit. I'd like to say that, uh, that Wilbur has more books than the Maesters in the Citadel. Good lord. Oh boy. I bet Wilbur's thinking, what next? Is she gonna go to the House of, house of the Dead? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the dumb place is. With wizards. With the dean from Community? Yes. <laughs> uh, Wilbur places an international phone call to Italy. Charlie, how come stay? It's Wilbur. Spaghettios. <laughs> Bring it, Tony. How you doing? Oh! Oh! Maria is good. Things are good. Stobiny. I'm fine. And John is... Stobine. <laughs> Stobine. Stobine. <laughs> Stobines. I'm fine. And John is... Well, I think she could use a change. I've seen her. 
Eric, that isn't a picture frame. That's a closed circuit flat screen TV. He's spying on his daughter. <laughs> He's spying on his daughter from his from his study. I I can never keep my eyes off of that girl. She's always getting into trouble. So I have to watch out for her. I've got cameras all over the city. <laughs> I have a favor to ask you. Oh, that cold menace in Wilbur's voice. <laughs> I may have said this a couple other times this week, but I'd like to reiterate, for the fourth time, life is brutal. Oh, it sure is. Look at those two knights sword fighting on the screen. Ah. I wonder who's who. Uh, I'm going to guess that the one on the left is um, Sandor Clegane, and the one on the right is uh, the mountain, Gregor Clegane. Because yes. I think that's the really on, only, like, one-on-one night fight we've seen in Game of Thrones. Not that I'd remember, because I've never watched it, because it's a show for nerds. Or it's maybe that, uh, uh, that Joust thing from the, the first season. Oh, it could be, um, Brienne kicking Sir Loris's ass in season two. Yes. Not that I've watched it, because I don't watch that show, because it's for geeks. Nerds. Nerds. Bunch nerds. Bunch of geeks. Also, uh, okay, go back. What is on Wilbur's monitor? Is that uh, just like a, re- a reflection or is it it's, a weird uh, it's screensaver? A, it's a big crack in the screen. Oh, no. Wilbur just got Wilbur. pissed off and just put his fist through it one day. God damn angry birds! I hate that. <laughs> I don't understand. Facebook? <laughs> no, I don't want to play words with friends. <laughs> Would you stop messaging me on my phone? <laughs> I hate all these te- text messages. Twitter? What's that? Twitter? I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> hey oh. Uh, Wilbur's such a crack up. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, <laughs> that was our week. I guess that's it. Uh, so what are your predictions for next week? Well, I think, uh, I think we're going to find out who this Giorgio guy is. Uh, uh, do you think it could be Giorgio Armani? Yes. It's going to help Don get all, all done it out. <laughs> going to make it. Beautiful. She's going to, he's going to turn her from a fashion zero into a fashion hero. Oh, man. Awesome. Um, I also think that we're going to find out um, what became of Bran, Rickon, Asha, and Hodor. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. We're going to figure out what they're trying to do and what they want to do. It's always been in my mind. I don't know. It's, just, it's confusing. Uh, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll wrap up what, uh, the, 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 the fallout from the battle on the Blackwater. Yeah, maybe they'll find the dragons? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, they could, uh, Daenerys could find her dragons. So, big, exciting week next week in Merry Worth. In Merry Worth, yep. <laughs> Your Grace, if it please yes, you, <laughs> would you entertain the court with your worthy moment of the week? Announcing the worthy moment of the week! Well, my favorite, uh, moment of this week is clearly done saying <laughs> life is brutal about 15 times 15 to 20 times i imagine she's just kind of rolling around kind of side to side there on the couch going life is brutal and then she turns over to the other side life is brutal just over and over again in a chant <laughs> <laughs> uh my worthy moment of the week is um sunday when we get that ominous look at Wilbur through the window. <laughs> like, everything he's doing is so fucking shady the last couple of days. <laughs> and he's... This, there's this shadowy figure behind a widow, window and he's going, Stop Ben. <laughs> it's like something out of The Sopranos. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> it, it's like something out of The Sopranos. The only good show that has ever been on HBO. <laughs> I, I can't think of another show that is good on HBO or ever has been good on HBO. 
Bunch of crap. Bunch of garbaggio. <laughs> but yeah, we've got Game of Thrones and The Sopranos in one week. <laughs> but, uh, life, life is brutal. That's uh, that's the slogan for Game of Thrones, right? It's the slogan for both Game of Thrones and The Sopranos. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Yeah, HBO isn't very good at taglines. They just, uh, strangely enough, it's also the uh, the tagline for Curb Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> I, I don't know what that has to do with Larry David, but tune in Sunday night, Game of Thrones. Life is brutal, and then the word "brutal" has like a bunch of flames <laughs> behind it. <laughs> like, oh. Tune in Sunday night. Curb your enthusiasm. Life is brutal. Bump, bump, bump. If it please, Your Grace, I'd like to thank some people here at the end of the show. Continue. The Iron Throne extends its thanks to Sandor Clegane for recording our intro. Someone bring me a drink! Uh, okay. Lord Samuel, get the hound some water. Fuck water, bring me wine. You can't stop drinking. We're still recording. What of the podcast? You want a pillow and a snow cone while you're at it? Eat shit, nerds. Dog, I can't you to stop whining. We were counting on you. The podcast is counting on you. Mary Worth is counting on you. Fuck you two, fuck the podcast, and fuck Mary Worth. Well. Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. <laughs> <laughs> How yes, droll. Quite. <laughs> uh, we'd also like to thank Wanders from Mary Worth and Me at marymirthworthandme.blogspot.com. Go to his blog every day and read the sacred scrolls he keeps of Mary Worth. I do. Yep, it's it's a good blog. He's a good dog. He a good dog. He's a, a good, good dog. <laughs> He's a good wow, dog. A, do a dog runs that site. He's a well, good dog, it. unlike that shithead Sandor Clegane. He, he should you should go to that uh, that blog. That's that's really impressive. It's uh Wanders' dog blog. Oh, that's great. Uh, he only talks about Mary Worth, um, with barks and woofs and growls. <laughs> oh. That's adorable. It's so cute. He's a little Pomeranian that wears a tie. <laughs> We'd like to thank Ramin Jawadi for uh, composing our theme song. Uh, we're using it without permission, so don't tattletale on us or we'll put you in stocks. Jawadi you want from us. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd also like to thank Ramin Jawadi again for composing uh, a robot version of the song that you're going to be hearing here in a little bit. That's the end of the show. My name is Samuel of the House Stark, Lord of Winterfell, and Warden of the North. And I'm Eric Baratheon, the first of his name, King of the Andals, and Rhinor, and the first man, Lord of the Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. And remember, kids, the man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. And that was your week in Merry Worth for what it's worth. <laughs>